Hey guys, so we have an important video about how to become part of the coding community. I'm going to be giving you some of my ways, and I'm also going to have my buddy Ricky Garcia, who also has a channel, which will be linked in the description below, to give some of his ways as well. And he's also going to elaborate specifically on how to become part of the community coding community if you live in a remote area because that's something that I've never had the ability to do really and I think he's going to provide a lot of value because a lot of people do live in areas that aren't you know Los Angeles and downtown areas and it's a little harder to connect with people but we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how to connect why it's important and how you can contribute to the community of developers. So before we jump into five resources as to how you can get involved in the coding community, let's talk about why it's important, right? So one, um, we live in a day and age in which, and in an industry of software and specifically web development, where things are constantly changing. And as an employee, as a potential candidate, you need to stay up to date on what's going on within your industry, or you're going to be left behind and you're going to suffer the consequences that go with it two if you do this is one of the unique ways where you can by being involved in the community of of developers in various aspects you can find your passion you can find your love for this industry and because uh, not everything that we're going to be talking about is just you hard coding things out uh some of it is taking a different look at at development that maybe you aren't accustomed to that will really help you out in the long term. And I, I think it's worth taking a look at. So let's, let's go ahead and, and dive into the first one. And that is join some Facebook groups, right? Join something most of us, not all of us, but most of us use Facebook. And I, I happen to recommend this Kotec and Caffeine one I stumbled upon the other day. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, but uh, uh, anyhow, um, for those of you who are like, Dylan created this group, I, I hope everyone picked up on the sarcasm. But um, part of it is you get to see what other people are working on. You get to see um, what sort of topics people are talking about. You can ask your own questions. Uh, and it doesn't all have to be serious, right? You can see right here we have some 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 memes going on. Yeah, it gets you a, a unique way to learn as well as to still enjoy what it is you're discussing, right? And you can see right here someone's just a student looking for some advice about a summer internship. And I so I would encourage you to join some Facebook groups. And I'll, I'll definitely, as always, have this link in the description of the video. So check it out. The next thing I would suggest is checking out meetup.com for potential meetups. And... This will give you another interesting uh, way of connecting with people where you have the ability to learn from others as well as teach others as well as make connections in the physical world and go from there, right? So uh, recently my my uh, my um, my normal meetup would be Iron Yard in St. Petersburg, RIP. Uh, but let's see if we expand this out to about 25 miles, see what comes up. Uh, but you'll see you'll see a few things on here. St. Petersburg Atheist. I'm going to check that out. So what? Tampa Hackerspace. Uh, board Game Night. Learning to Code. Kids Academy Learning to Code. See if you have kids. But uh, essentially what I'm trying to say is... Oh, here's a good one. A very agile Java UX front-end design holiday celebration. That's a very long name. But um, you can see... A couple things uh but anyhow so it's a good way to network it's a good way to learn something new and it's a, a different way to go about to to still learn while not necessarily immersing your your being only into a computer screen i encourage you to check out meetup um dot com for that as well there's probably a few other sites but meetup's the main one that i use the other thing I would suggest is start going to hackathons. This is something where you can meet a lot. You can get introduced to a lot of cool technologies because a lot of times companies are there to to see what's going on and see who can come up with creative solutions for their APIs and products. You can also, every time I've gone to these, someone's been looking to hire inter look into, um, look into, to, um, uh, and you can win prizes, but you can network with people. You can you can build cool projects for a portfolio. Uh, if you win one, it looks great on a resume. Even if you just have a portfolio project, it goes from it. So uh, you can see right here, uh, there's a couple ones going on. Let's just go to North America. We got the money, money. 
20. This is angelhack.com for those of you who are interested. I've gone to uh, several Angel Hack events and I can tell you they are phenomenal. Uh, so it, usually they charge $10 for you to go, but they provide meals and, and drinks and free swag and all that. It's really just to cover a few basic things. Um, but I would highly suggest if you're interested in it and this happens, one of these happens to be near you. Let's see where this one is, just out of curiosity. Um, global... Global Monday 17. It's going to take forever to load because I'm filming video for whatever reason because <laughs> that's how it rolls. But I would encourage you to go to hackathons, build interesting projects, and start learning new things today. Where is this global demo hackathon? All right, so it's not, no, no, second. Is it online? It might be online. So some of these hackathons are even online. I would encourage you to go and try to go to in-person one because I, th I think you'll get more out of it. It's a little bit more fun in my opinion anyhow. So the, uh, the fourth thing I would suggest is start contributing to open source, right? If there's something that you're a fan of, let's take Free Code Camp for instance. Go on Free Code Camp. See what sort of open tickets they have, right? See what bugs they have. See if you can... Uh, offer some suggestions. It's going to be intimidating at first, but um, there's nothing wrong with just kind of seeing, okay, well, let me look at the issues and then let me see if I can find something, something easy, right? Something that's not going to be, um, let's see. Cannot convert undefined to null to object. That's something you could do pretty, pretty easily. And it's just more so probably about a type error. So you might be able to look into that. It, it, it all depends. But my, my, my suggestion is start contributing to open source. And that will look good on a resume. You'll learn a lot. And you'll learn what it's like to actually work with other developers. Because that's how it goes. You're working and fixing other people's code. Uh, so the other thing I would say is volunteer. Volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. And you're saying, Dylan, I don't really know how I can help. I'm just a noob. Well, a lot of times, if you've made a website, you're better than 95% of the population, and you can provide a little bit of value. You can go and help on Hour of Code. I volunteer whenever the state of Florida calls me, um, so call me Florida, and I will go and uh, give lectures to children who really all they want to know is if you build video games, but all the same, yeah, <laughs> all the same, you can, uh, you can answer their questions and maybe get them inspired and... Um, they they want to know, they actually want to know two things. They want to know how much money you make, and they want to know um, did I build Minecraft. That's that's those are the two questions you're gonna get. But volunteer code.org is a great organization who's all about getting the word out there, trying to get kids involved in the STEM field, specifically software development. So I encourage you to check that out. So these are just five things that you can do pretty much starting today to immerse yourself in the coding community. Some of these things you need to be more in in metropolitan areas, right? The hackathons are usually in, in big cities, but that's why we got our boy Ricky coming up next to drop some knowledge on how he can, what he will tell you to get involved in the community, as well as the things that you can do to maybe, if you're in a, a less um, compact area where not as many of these events are going on, that he has found successful to inject himself into the coding community. Hey guys, working in an area where there aren't a lot of developers, you know, it can be tough. How do you get the uh, resources that you need? How do you uh, keep in the loop? How do you uh, get yourself out there to improve your career? Well, for me, it's been all about social media. Now, before this, I was a social media manager where I handled dozens of accounts, quite literally dozens of accounts. So I learned about Facebook. I learned about video production. But what I really learned about was providing people value. And that's one of the best ways to get yourself out there. And people can see that everywhere. Now, what does that mean? It means you have to provide entertainment, education, maybe a public service, uh, maybe all these things combined. And then you have to put that out there somehow, whether it be with a podcast, a video, a blog. These are all great ways that you can go ahead and get yourself into the community. Now, how would you go ahead and do that? Well, you know, we can talk about theory all day long, but let me go ahead and show you in the browser and I'll give you some examples that I've done over the years. All right, like I said, if you're in an isolated area like me, social media is your friend. You can talk to others halfway across the world with the same interests, such as web development or programming, and you can go ahead and distribute content, which is really the key. As you can see, I am a avid YouTuber, and I try to go ahead and put out content about uh, web development. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these videos here. 
So here you can see that I have a lot of different topics. Now, hold on, I'm not saying that you have to go ahead and get a YouTube channel out here, but this is the best way that I've found to go ahead and get involved in the community. And um, just doing live streams to uh, different topics, and you, you can really get detailed here. As you can see, I have a lot of different uh, thumbnails. But you don't have to do that. Getting started is the most important thing. Um, but what if you don't want to go ahead and create a channel? Not a big deal. You can really get involved by just uh, having thoughtful comments or questions on YouTube channels or other, you know, other platforms. Um, but you should think outside the box. What I did was actually go on Simple Programmer with a video question. Let's go ahead and listen. Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a video question here from Ricky Garcia. You can check out the video. Let's, let's go ahead and listen to him. He wants to know about branding versus technical skills. Hi John, this is Richard, love the show, been watching you since you had about 20,000 subs. You had a video about Udacity Nano Degrees. So as you can see, this is a long video, um, but I got a lot of screen time on there and you know, John Sanmez or Simple Programmer has a lot of subscribers and my face is there, the audio is there, I am getting myself into the community. Really thought outside the box, but I get it, you know, not everyone has the camera set up. You don't have to have a fancy one, you can do something with a webcam like this one. And if you don't want to do that, not a big deal. Be involved with uh, comments and stuff. This is Roberto Blake's channel here. He has a lot of subscribers. He's really well known in the YouTube niche. And I've just gone ahead and left a comment that says, uh, currently in the dip myself, great advice. It was uh, pertaining to the video and he replied to me. So do you want me to make a video about that? Now he's replied to me on several occasions and I was in his live stream and I put a super chat up there for him to answer. Great way to get myself into, you know, his brain as well as the audience. And talking about live chat, if you are going to a live chat, be sure to go ahead and get involved, ask questions to the streamer and answer a lot of questions in chat to others as long as it's helpful. Um, that's something that a lot of people don't do and that will get people to know who you are. I have a lot of people do that in my live streams. Um, I have Corey, there's David Lang, and you know a whole bunch of others that I, I can't just name out. But I do have a lot of them there and they are involved and that's really important. Now this isn't just about YouTube and about video. This does go over to different topics and different mediums. So I subscribe to a podcast called the uh, Deeply Graphic Design Cast and I sent over an audio clip here. So let's go ahead and take a listen to that. All right, cool. So. Uh, let's go right into, uh, we got a story from Ricky, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and listen to that. Mikkel, Wes, and Nick, it's great to talk to you guys again. You said to send in your worst graphic design stories, so here we are. I work as a web developer, but before this, I worked... Ew, <laughs> you know, let's not talk about that. If you want to listen to that, you know, do, do so on your own time. But I just wanted to go ahead and drive the point home that you can go ahead and do this on other platforms, and it doesn't have to be video. But what if you don't want to do video or audio or you don't have the time or the skill? There is blogging and a lot of people do blogging. One thing to take note of though is uh, the harder it is, the higher the barrier to entry, the more you're going to stand out. And so that's why I do YouTube. It's a lot harder to do, um, something to take into account. But I got started with blogging on LinkedIn with LinkedIn articles. You can go ahead and check them out here. Um, you might see that there aren't a lot of views on some of these or a lot of clicks and that's okay. What we're doing is trying to get in front of the right people, um, whether it be on LinkedIn or YouTube or, you know, uh, like a, a podcast. We want to go ahead and distribute content to the right people. Let me rephrase. We want to go ahead and create content for the right people. And this is one of the ways to do it. Now, if you don't consider yourself an expert, just talk about what you know, like I said. And that is usually a great way to go. You're gonna get better at creating posts, uh, thinking about things, getting better at writing. That's a great skill to have for anything, to be honest. Um, you're gonna really carry that all throughout your career, such as write, writing uh, thoughtful emails and stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of these articles. Here's a headline. Here's a picture, here's um, you know all this formatted stuff that I didn't think about and um, organizing my thoughts. Really a really great skill to have. I highly recommend that you uh, look into doing something like this and getting started with this. It's cheap, it's effective, and you're gonna carry it uh, throughout. But you know we've been talking about creating content. How do we use this and distribute this to others you know all around the world where, uh, where they aren't in our teeny tiny little bubble? 
Well, that's where stuff like Quora and Twitter and Facebook come in. You can go through Quora and do like a reverse search. So here's Udacity Nano Degree. You can just type in Udacity and find this topic Nano Degree. Um, find a question here is are you not are Udacity Nano Degrees worth finding a job? And I can go ahead and leave an answer. A lot of these are detailed. These people are getting involved in the community and trying to go ahead and get you know that recognition just by leaving you know thoughtful thoughtful answers and some of these can be blog posts as well you just take them put them in here um, that's a quick win but try to customize some of this stuff that's what I did here left a really detailed answer and then talked about the uh, nano degree and then left my video here I have 16,000 views 11 upvotes it's a great strategy to use always remember to be helpful um, that's what really it comes down to that's how people are going to come to you or or notice you is by providing something that is insightful or helpful um, what's another way that you could go ahead and distribute this content well you could go through Facebook groups I know YouTube and Facebook don't get along well but I went ahead and put this through there and I had a lot of new faces there it was um, surprising that's something that you should do is change up your tactics always be learning something new and then going ahead and using the best ones from that point forward uh, you could also distribute this stuff through Twitter now I am not an avid Twitter user myself I just use it to basically send out my uh, videos um, and you can tell with the followers I have but as as I uh, get further along in my journey when I get to 100 videos only about five six videos away I will go ahead and start using this heavily um, and there are all sorts of things here you can see Twitter analytics and it'll give you some more information and that's on a ton of these platforms just like LinkedIn uh, it shows you the clicks and stuff and you, if you go farther you can see even more uh, like who it was and stuff and and all these social media platforms have that uh, if you're if you're looking for that stuff so there are all the platforms and, and ways to get out there. And I totally understand if this is overwhelming, like how am I gonna get started? Um, this is all foreign to me. Don't worry, I got you covered. You can go over to HubSpot, HubSpot Learning Academy to be specific. Now these courses are free. You do have to sign up through the uh, form, but after that it's free. Now not all of these um, um, software courses are available to you because you got to be a software user but inbound is free it talks about inbound marketing um, what we're talking about right now as well as the content marketing strategy here let's go ahead and take a look at this course actually and um, you can see here is a list of the videos how long they are the video itself and they also have like um, they have uh, resources and stuff if you click on one of these other videos you can see that they have free tools and resources like PDFs it's amazing. Let's actually go ahead and take a little look at this. So now that you know how content marketing can help build a better relationship with your prospects and customers, what steps do you take to create a successful content marketing plan? All right, there's some stuff to get you started. Now, if you have any questions for me, just go ahead and comment in this video with something appended like, hey, Ricky, or hi, Ricky. That way, I make sure that this question is addressed to me, and I'll do my best to go ahead and answer it. All right, talk to you guys later. Keep on learning. Hey baby, what would be your advice for someone trying to get involved in the coding community? Date someone who has a coding channel. Quick shout out to deviceplus.com. If you're interested in the latest IOTs, hacks, do-it-yourself projects revolving around Arduino and Raspberry Pi, they have some great how-to guides. I, I highly encourage you to check them out and thanks for watching.